Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Parrot Security OS 6.3 on VMware Workstation. First to download Parrot Security OS 6.3 by going to Parrot official website that is ParrotSec.org. See here at the time of making this video the latest release of the Parrot Security OS is 6.3. Click on download or download either is fine. So click on any one of them. Then we have to choose the category live means ISO, virtual machine or IoT. So select live, then select the edition, security home or HTB. I am going to select security, then click on this architecture, then see here it populated the information about the parrot security by 6.3. See, its version is 6.3, lowercase, release date and architecture. See here we have the direct download and download by torrent link. So, if you want to download direct ISO file, click on here. Click on it. It is up to you. See, once you click done, download started. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 5.2 gigabytes. Wait until download completes. I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download completes. Once download is completed, then open VMware. Open it. Click on, click on create a new virtual machine or file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Click on next. Then select the installer disk image file. Then click on browse. Then press P. Then select Parrot Security 6.3 and click on open. Then click on next. Here select Linux and select and select version as Debian. Debian 64 bit. Select the latest version of the Debian 64 bit. Click on next. Then provide the name for the virtual machine. PR that means Parrot Sec. 63 VM name can be anything this is just virtual machine name then select the path to store this virtual machine files and folders select the path where you have the NOS space click on ok click on next then then here we have to provide the virtual hard disk size. Then click on next. See, by default memory selected as 2 gigabytes. I am going to, to increase it to 4 gigabytes. So click on customize hardware. Then increase it. Then click on close. Then click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of this virtual machine, right click on it. Then select settings or machine. Then VM and select settings or Click on this edit virtual machine settings. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on power on this virtual machine. Use up and down arrows and select the, select the first one that is try or install and hit enter. See if cursor is grayed out, just press alt control from your keyboard to release the cursor. If you want to use this for temporary purpose, you can use button. I want to install it permanently. So click on this install icon, then right click and select open. Then select the language and click on next. Then select select the region from this list and zone. Or you can click on this world map. Okay. And if you want to change the language, click on change. Okay. Then click on next. Then select the keyboard language and click on next. Then select the erase disk and click on next. Now we have to create our setup user. So I am giving user and this will be the username. Here we have to provide the virtual machine. I am giving name can be anything. Later also you can change this host name or computer name. Then provide the password for this user. Then confirm the same. Then click on next. See, this is the installation summary. If you are okay with all these settings, then click on install. It is asking the just confirmation. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on. Also, see here, you will be not able to undo the changes. Once we click on install now. So, I am okay with all the settings, then click on install now. See, installation has been started. This will take time. So, I am going to pause this video. And at the end, it will ask us to reboot the system. Then we will reboot the virtual machine and perform the post installation steps. In meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See, installation is completed. Keep the checkbox that is restart now. 
before restarting right click on this PC settings then go to CD DVD then unselect both and click on OK then click on yes then click on done see now it is restarting Now, provide the password of this user which we have created. See, notice here, before we were having install icon on desktop. Now it is gone. Okay. See here, we have the applications. We have the pen testing folder, pen testing section. Under see here, we have different tools, different section and different tools. Okay. Do you want to check the updates? No. Then op now open terminal, increase the font, file, edit profile preferences and select this one select it increase the font select it close it now verify the version that we have installed more slash etc os hyphen release see we have installed parrot for s 6.3 see while installing i have selected type as debian why because see here the id is of type debian that's why i have selected debian control a if you want to verify the IP of this machine, just give if config. See if config not found, so you can get the IP, IP ADDR. See, this is the IP of the machine. Okay. The first step after connecting to Parrot Security OS 6.3 is we have to update the packages. Sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt upgrade. Hit enter. Provide the password of the sudo user. See, it is going to update or upgrade these packages. Type and hit enter. See, this will take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Parrot Security OS 6.3 on VMware Workstation. For more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.